Hi right, guys, we are here um, with our farmer and his family. So this is Helgi. He is the son of our farmer Florencio, um, and he studies agriculture. So he's explaining to us the whole process. He's the expert when it comes to market, and he's going to take us through what's happening today with regards to the the seed uh, preparation. Buenos días, hola a todos. Bueno, les voy a explicar el proceso para obtener la semilla de la maíz. Antes de llegar a este proceso, hay cinco cosas que se que se realizan. Primero está la cosecha de la roseta, luego está el secado de la roseta, posteriormente viene el trillado, la recolección y el venteado de la semilla. Y esta semilla está lista para poder echar al campo y poder obtener los hipocotilos o tuberculillos. Okay, so we're right now we're collecting the seeds which we're going to be planting, but to get to these seeds it's actually a two-year process. A lot of people don't realize that maca is harvested twice. So the first harvest we've shown you how that happens. This is to get the fresh bulb that we that we're going to consume. But then what at this point what they do is they will take out all the best bulbs of maca and they will replant them and they will grow them for about another eight to uh, nine months or so, depending on how much rain they've had. And then they will harvest again for the second time. And during the second harvest, the the foliage on top they call the rosettas has grown massively and this is what houses the seeds. So after the second harvest, these the marker is dried down. This is a, one of the um, the dried sacrificed markers um, and the, the rosettas are taken off the top and they're ground up after being uh, kept dry for another two months into the seed mix. So the whole process is a two year process. And then these seeds take another nine months to grow and we have almost three years to produce a one bulb of mark. the soil for the, for the planting of the maca. We're helping out our farmer this year with a tractor to make his life a lot easier. A couple of things you need to know about the soil if you come in. Firstly, it has to be plowed through twice. It's, it's very thick and dense like clay, so we need to break up that clay and make it uh, uh, more like a sandy texture. This is some of the most mineral rich soil on the planet, but the minerals in the soil move very slowly. Unlike at sea level, where minerals move a lot faster, um, it's filtered down from the glacial waters, it's very rich in minerals. So because of that, the soil takes a long time to regenerate, which is why we need to rotate uh, these patches that we plant in. So this is virgin soil, brand new soil, purely for our harvest for next year's volunteer program. Um, and at the moment, we're getting it ready, we're going to be planting in a minute. Okay, so what we're doing now, we've plowed the field as we're laying down the, the light, first layer of fertilizer. They use guano. Guano is uh, basically bird poo that they get from the coast of, of Peru. They bring it up here. Um, and the reason they love using guano is because guano is a slow release form uh, of, of nitrates, phosphates, potassium. It has 16 uh, main minerals. And um, it means that the market doesn't absorb the minerals too quickly. So it, it, it's... Uh, perfect uh, for use with growing market.